This was an excerpt from the second Bach English suite, BWV 807, the prelude of that suite. And these English suites are favorites of mine because they show in such an extraordinary way Bach's amazing ability to write virtuoso music of the highest intellectual power and which conveys a joy in music making uh, which uh, creates a kind of ecstasy for the performer. Leipzig is a city that exercises a magic in the imagination of musicians all over the world. First and foremost, without any question, because it is identified in everybody's mind with Johann Sebastian Bach. And Bach remains for every musician the father of, of us all. Uh, he represents the greatest challenge in terms of difficulty technically, in terms of intellect, in terms of spirituality. His ability to meld these things together into a unity is something very special. And for someone to come from as far away as I do, from the United States of America, other people come from Asia, and they come to the Thomas Kirchhoff and they see the statue uh, of Bach, or they go a few steps farther and see uh, the little monument that Mendelssohn uh, caused to be created, and they go into the Thomas Kirche and imagine what it was like to hear a Sunday service there, to see Bach's grave, to go to the Nikolai Kirche. All of these things are like a pilgrimage. They're an almost religious experience. Add to that, of course, uh, the extraordinary memories that one has of Mendelssohn and his house, and Schumann and the apartment that he lived with Clara when they were first married, to say nothing of the Arabische Koffebaum, where one can still go and see where the Davidsbündler sat, which gives one goosebumps. And one can even, of course, order Spanferkel, which was Schumann's uh, favorite dish, a suckling pig with Savoy cabbage and, uh, uh, you know, potato dumplings. Uh, this is a, a city which, of course, through the ages, was a commercial center. And uh, today, one is so struck by how lively the city is and how beautifully uh, many of its precious buildings have been renovated. But first and foremost, uh, it is the citadel, citadel of Johann Sebastian Bach. Of course, every young musician is confronted with Bach at an early age. We play the two and three part inventions at the keyboard. We learn the preludes and the fugues of the well-tempered clavier, and later on we progress to some of the more demanding pieces. But for me, there was a moment, a decisive moment, which turned me into someone absolutely obsessed with the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. And that moment came in February 1958, when there was a television broadcast by Leonard Bernstein, who was giving a series of presentations on television in America on different musical subjects. And one of them was about Bach. And I was 10 years old, and I was absolutely overwhelmed by the excerpts from the St. Matthew Passion, from uh, parts of the Magnificat, from some of the other pieces, and I became quite crazy. And I asked my uncle, who was a musician, to take me into a music store, and I wanted to buy every cantata of Bach that one could buy, which in 1958 was about 12, amazingly enough. It was very difficult to find scores to Bach pieces after the Bach Gesellschaft published the complete works, and most of them went out of print. You could not get orchestral scores. And when I was 13, I discovered there was something called the Neue Bach Ausgabe, a new complete works edition of Bach. And I went down on bended knee to my parents and I said, please, 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 I must have a subscription to this. And they said, oh, it's going to be expensive. I don't know. My uncle said, I'll pay for it. And so somewhere between once and five times a year, depending on the year, a package would arrive from Germany. And I'd open up the package, and there were the brown cloth volumes with Bach's coat of arms on the front. And to me, that was like Christmas. 
And I opened it up and ran with it to the piano and started to sight read whatever it was, a cantata, a, a, an organ work, a, a choral piece. I was completely overwhelmed by Bach, and I must say, I still am. I was first in Leipzig in 1996, and at that time I was chosen by Amadeus Webersinker, who of course was uh, the prize winner in organ at the very first Bach competition in 1950, and uh, Professor Webersinker asked me to be his deputy, and at the very next Bach piano competition, I was named chair of the jury, and he was my deputy, and then after that they asked me to be the president. And so I have been president of the Bach competition now since 2001, which gives me the joy of coming to the city on a regular basis uh, to work on the competition, sometimes to do some research, and of course the network of friends that I have in the Bach archive, uh, working colleagues, uh, these are some of the most precious relationships that I have.